Let's continue working with this project. In this video, we're gonna see a topic that is called conditionally rendering a component. And you can see, for example, the, fir the first time that we reload, uh, we have this, the loan amount, and it's empty, and also the total payment, and, then, and everything is empty. In the finished project, we have these instructions. Add the amount and the term to repay. So it's going to be something really simple. And we're gonna create a new component. Here on the components, we're gonna create this new component. That I'm gonna call this one message. That JS and we're gonna use IMR, it's going to import React, and then we're gonna use SFC, which is going to create a stateless functional component. We're gonna call this one message. And it's going to be a stateless functional component because it doesn't require any state and also doesn't require any lifecycle methods. Also, I'm going to remove this and we're gonna use the parentheses. So we're gonna return this value like this. So finally, we're gonna return the instructions, it's going to be add an amount and the term to repay so we have the component you can see it's really small something really simple we're gonna save this and open the app.js and right after the result we're gonna display this we're gonna add message and let me close this so this is going to import the component but in case that you don't have this code you can type this manually so save this and open the project and now you can see that we have the two different components. We have this, and then we have the instructions. We need to load one component and base it on something. We need to display the other component. This is called conditionally rendering a component. So it's going to be like this. Let me open the code. And here on the app.js, let me scroll. Right after that, we have this destructuring. This we're going to add conditionally render a component. Uh, render like this a component and we can do uh, this by adding an if statement at the end remember react is going to be a javascript library so you can use any javascript code or also any javascript function into react so first let me add if it's going to be like this and we're gonna display something here and then we're gonna use else and we're gonna uh, display other component so first, let me show you something. If you save this and open the project, and let me open the, the, the working folder, and uh, let me cut code the, code this and open this again. So we're gonna inspect the code and we're gonna use React Developer Tools. So we're gonna open React. You can see, for example, at the moment, if you open, we have result and then we have message. So we need to load one or, or the other one. If you take a look here on the, on the amount, you can see that these are empty. So we can use the if statement to check if we already have an amount. So once we add something here and calculate this, you can see this is going to be filled. In this case, we're going to display the results. Once uh, everything is empty, we're going to display the instructions. So it's going to be the code like this. We're going to use, we can use amount or you can use total or, or the term. Any condition is going to be fine. We're going to use total. You can see we're using total like this because we already destructured the values from the state. So we're going to use a comment. Destructuring the state. And we check the total. If the total is equals, we're going to check triple equal sign. is equals to an string that is empty. We're going to, let me cut this. We're going to load something. In this case, I'm going to create a new variable that is called let component. And it's going to initialize without any values. So the values are going to be given by the if statement. So for example, in the case of the of this condition where the total is empty, component is going to be equals, component is going to be equals to the message. So we're gonna cut this and paste this right here. In the case that total has something, we're gonna add component, equals and we're going to display this so cut this and paste this right here you can align this correctly like this for example to make this easier to read so you can see that we have component and then we have total equals to an empty string we're going to display the instructions in the case of total or that total has something we're going to display the result so finally we're going to add here on the messages the curly braces, so this is going to be JavaScript, and we're going to use component, which is going to be the variable. And this is going to display 
this or this. It's going to display this component or this component based on a conditional. That's why it's called conditionally render a component. So let me save this and open the project. And now you can see that we have add an amount and the term to repay. Let me show you something. If you inspect the code and you open React, you can see, for example, here on the messages, we have the message. If you add something here and select the term and you calculate this, you can see that we have message. Once you click here, it's going to remove the other component. It's going to display this one because the amount is going to have something. And now you can see that we already have some information into the component. So you can use this technique to display one component or also display another component. And for example, this is really common when you are building a website and the user must be authenticated to display something. You can use, for example, if the user is authenticated, then you can display the content. In case that the user is not authenticated, you can display the login form, something like this. In the next video, we're gonna continue building this project. You can see, for example, if you add any number here and then you select the months to repay and calculate this, you can see that we have this spinner. So it's going to be another component. So let's see how this is done in the next video.